Hello and welcome, you join me, ADG, and here we are on the Seto Corsa for one reason and one reason only, because it's a brilliant game, two reasons, two reasons and two reasons only, one, because it's a brilliant game, and two, it's been rumoured that this track, Laguna Seca, Seca, even with a C, is uh, is going to be brought to Gran Turismo sometime, can't, uh, sometime soon, I can't speak. So, I am on Assetto Corsa in uh, Ferrari, La Ferrari, and uh, I've set up an AI race of six laps against uh, similar competition. So, off we go, basically. I will give you one warning, it is incredibly loud on this game. I could turn it down a little bit, probably, but I don't really want to because uh, it's half of the fun of this game. The noise is unbelievable. Anyway, without much further ado, we'll get underway and uh, just get on with a quick little AI race on Laguna Seca. Get my eye in before it comes out on uh, on Gran Turismo. There you go, there's the noise. Waiting for the lights and off we go. So not a bad start actually. Jump the guy in front of me straight away. Oh, thought I had a gap. There was no gap. Full 360 amongst everyone still going into T1. What a move. You don't see that every day. So picked up some damage I think from that, but we'll carry on anyway. giving that guy to the side of me, to the right of me, a little bit of room and uh, ended up going off with a little bit of understeer. It's getting a bit too close to the outside. Got to be so hesitant with the throttle, finding out straight away in this car. Got to be uh, sure when you put your foot down that you're pretty much in a straight line. Into there, but kept it nice and clean. Oh, the noise! Oh, Jesus, wasn't they expecting that. The noise from the Lamborghini in front, then. Oops, just punted that guy off, then. Never mind. We are in an AI race. I hope you can hear me because it's so bloody loud in my headphones. Oh, into the back of another Lamborghini. I've not got anything against the Lamborghini, it's honest. Feels so slow crawling around that first corner. But this car's got so much uh, power and not that much grip for the power. It's not a race car. It's an incredibly fast car. I'm trying to drive it as smoothly as possible, I'm trying not to unsettle it on the gears or anything. You don't get the turning right, you just get so much understeer and they've just done it for about four corners in a row. Probably doing quicker than that by then. Just feels like you've got to tiptoe around those slow ones. Four position, see if I can catch the guys in front. Really on the break. 
Better for the cops, screw that time. The understeer in this car with the standard setup is quite surprising. So much understeer again, ridiculous amount. Not my best driving, struggling if I'm honest, jumping on a different game I've played for a long time, it's not always easy to, to get straight into it. Catching up now though. is unbelievable. on the outside, gave him space on the apex. No sign of first place in front. Absolutely brutal power in this Ferrari. You put your foot down, it's so fast.
such a tricky corner that in this car. So coming towards the end, finishing in second in the end. So not a bad race all in all. A few moments here and there but absolutely love it. Brilliant racing in uh I forgot how good it is actually. Brilliant racing in that. Not the best uh, driving I've ever done, but really enjoyed that. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've never seen Laguna Seca before, or never driven on it yourself, it's a bit of a tricky track, but it's good fun. So uh, hopefully you'll look forward to seeing it on Gran Turismo Sport sometime soon. Anyway, without much further ado, thank you very much for watching. I'm Eddie G, and uh, see you again soon, hopefully. Take care.